Wait a second. I almost forgot to record. Let me turn this down a little bit. <laughs> We're in for a treat today. We have everything over here in terms of equipment. We got all the shiny stuff, that's what we'll call them. Obviously we have the hatches, we have more of the shiny stuff, the bow rail. The, uh, that metal piece goes in a, in a rub rail. It's kind of hidden so I'm not too worried about it and I hope that since it's split in many places that the screw will hold those in, you know, fine enough. I have this that I don't think I need but I brought it anyway. Got the seat door and whatnot and currently what I am doing, I am putting in the teak right there. So uh, let me bring y'all along. Put it down here. Let's see. Cool. screws pretty hefty. Uh oh. Uh, Did any of these fit? Oh no. Well that's no good. <sighs> Just add another thing to the list. So I'm sure y'all saw that. Um these aren't biting into the wood because the wood is so worn that these aren't even touching it. I think my best bet would be try to find some bolts and nuts and, and, and clamp it in there, you know, with those. But uh, it's kind of a weird end to be able to find in a bolt. So we'll, we'll see what we got to do. You know, it ain't a bad deal that I came here. I have all this room in this garage and all them tools in there, but I do sure miss having the boat in the shade. In the barn, it may have been dirty, may not have had this nice area and tools and is dusty and all that, but at least it was shaded. That's the only thing that this place is missing. Don't think I'm complaining or nothing like that, because I'm not. It's just an observation. If you can have some sort of shaded area, especially if you're working on it in the summer, use it. Make the most of your outdoor dining experiences. Right. We're gonna fish the hydraulic hoses through the rigging tube. And from my understanding, you want, oh crap, let me get the, uh, the cap for this, but you want this to stay down here in these small tubes where you have you have the attachment that comes with it. You want these up at the steering so you can angle it properly. So I had to figure that out so in case anyone else needs to figure that out. That's what it does. You keep the big ends that are already fitted down for the motor and these two ends that are small up they go to the steering wheel. Alright, I'm gonna run this through. Here we are. I'm, I'm gonna just run them both at the same time because why not? Let me tape one on first. Right. I'm not gonna get quite the taper on this one, but eh. maybe we'll be able to get it through. All right, there we go. Let's see if we can run this through. Oh, and there we go. 
<laughs> Alright, so note to self. Use more tape. So I'm bringing in reinforcements who are a little bit smarter than me. At least my brother is. I don't know about Bobby. <laughs> They'll come later. Bobby's got to bleed until I think if he's or if he's coming, and uh, they're gonna help me fill this full of the fluid. All right. Where do we want this? This is a three-inch diameter. I feel like I had a three-inch. Let's figure out where we want this. Up a little bit, but it'll be up like that. That'll be kind of nice, right around there. We'll do a little bit of research. Have any garment or speakers or anything like that? No, I'm not sure. Even though I got. Dance in the bubble. Yeah, I can come out that way. I saw one little bubble. Yeah, we're off and running. That clip that you just saw, we got all the bubbles out and whatnot. And there's a lot of different methods to go about that, but you can see how under the helm the hydraulics are going up there, and that's it. You got. My original steering wheel, the steering uh, column, I guess, that uh, came with the kit from Baystar, C-Star, Baystar, and then the two hydraulic lines that come down, out the rigging tube right there, cut a hole in there, and then boom, right into there, and everything works as it should. Now, there is an elephant in the room. I don't know if I've even talked about this yet. Baystar, my hydraulic, hy Horsefly. Oh, I missed it. Anyway, Baystar, the hydraulic steering goes up to 150 horsepower. That's obviously a 200. My logic is the fact that that weighs less than a brand new uh, 154 stroke. 154 stroke is like 500 pounds, give or take. That's like 450, give or take. And the fact of the matter is, I know I avoid the warranty and everything if they catch me. I know I avoid the warranty and everything, but uh, I think it'll work just fine. 